I want to be able to create connections that I am proud of. I guess a little scary, but also exciting. I really loved it so far. I'm really looking forward um, to graduation. It is truly an honor to be elected by the student body to be student body president for Pomona College. College can and will be a test of your character. The discipline and the values you enter here with will be tested. I'm kind of very content with my life as a senior right now in fall at Pomona. Hi, my name is Timia Delacun and this is my senior year at Pomona College. So I'm having a production meeting, I guess, for um, a show. I plan on shooting a docu-series called Testing Free Will. And we're talking about episode one and kind of talking about how we're gonna, kind of how we're gonna move along through our process for the show. Okay, so I think our plan would be to use the DJI one, the DJI two, and then the Rode or, or the Sennheiser. I enjoy um, film and TV and I enjoy producing and it's something I want to do in the future. So for my senior thesis, I thought what well, best to do besides like actually just creating and having something to like show for it and just having a physical deliverable for it for my theater major. Okay, and then same thing with the monitor. Okay. I actually don't know how this project is going to end up truly, but it feels like we're going to create something special and it does feel good because I'm very excited about it and I think throughout the planning that of what we have been doing, um, is, yeah, I'm just very excited. Wow, another successful meeting. I grew up in South Florida. Um, specifically, I was born in Miami and we moved to Broward County. I think I'm very similar to as a kid as I am now, just very explorative, is that, if that's a word, just very, like I'm ready to explore. I am eager to just get involved in things, and I think that still reflects me now. Um, currently, I'm assistant directing um, a show in the theater department. Um, it's called Anonymous. I'm also working on um, producing my own play next semester, and I'm also making a docu series about that process as well. It's kind of hectic, but we're gonna see what happens. I mean, yeah. My name is Alexandra Turvey, and this is my senior year at Pomona College. I really just am so grateful that I chose to come to Pomona. Today, it's a Friday afternoon, and we are at the Haldeman Pool, which is the home of our Pomona Pitzer Swim and Dive team and we're having a team practice. All right, we're going every two and a half minutes. Yeah, this is a fun practice. It's a, uh, an early in the season event where we race a, a hundred yards of every, of the, of the four competitive strokes. We're only not even two weeks into our season, um, but it, it'll be a fun time to see them sort of put their game face on. I think the beginning of the year is always super exciting. Um, the season, uh, can feel long at times, but really I find that it often flies by. It's really just sort of six months and we have our really big championship meets in the end of February and March. So a big sort of team goal for us is to win Skyx. Uh, last year on the women's side we lost by just 10 points and that was pretty disappointing. So this year is a lot about redemption for both the men and women's teams. Uh, 50.4. 50.7. Yeah, so I haven't uh, like raced officially since March, so today's fun to like get back into it and sort of get the season started off on a good note. I'm a senior, so I'm disappointed my time here is coming to an end, but I'm really excited for the final season. I was born in Boston, so in Massachusetts, and then when we were three years old, my family moved to Vancouver in Canada. Swimming obviously has sort of dominated my life from a very young age. Um, I started competitive swimming when I was eight years old. I was really fortunate to qualify for like the 2020 Olympic trials. Thinking of my goals for this year, um, like it would be super cool to qualify for Olympic trials again, but I think the, my main goals are here for this team. I'm Maria Oran Gonzalez, and this is my senior year at Pomona College. So 
So I'm really glad you guys are here. I'm gonna start wiping this down, these two tables. So today is the first event of um, Organic October for the Eco Reps, and we called it Garden Focaccia Day, and it's a way for students to engage with organic produce, not only from um, a nearby grocery store, but also from the Pitzer Student Garden and from the Pomona Garden as well. Um, this is our first Garden Focaccia event and we hope you guys are enjoying it. The program that I'm affiliated with is the Eco Reps, and with the Eco Reps, we are um, student ambassadors of sustainability. Something that the Eco Reps do is to provide resources for students through programming and projects. Oh, this is really pretty. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This loaf is really pretty. Oh, <laughs> the focaccia is looking beautiful, but I do think that there are too many focaccias. We thought 12 people was going to be enough and intimate, but I think I might have to use every oven in dialysis to be able to bake these focaccias. So there's learning experiences. You plan this event and you want it to go a certain way, but nothing is perfect. You have to think on your feet, and I think that's what my senior year is going to be like. Nothing is going to be perfect. You just have to go with the flow, see how things turn out, and just be able to adjust accordingly and be fluid as possible. I was born in Bogota, Colombia, and I moved to the U.S. when I was eight years old. We learned to speak English through a book, um, through practicing in classes. It, the transition was very hard because you have to learn how to communicate with people in an informal sense. So that has been like a huge part of my curiosity. I think as a child, I was very creative, very curious, and very kind. Um, I would win like student of the month for kindness, student of the month for compassion. I am really interested in communication and journalism. So I hope in the future, my career looks like being able to directly engage with um, environmental stories My name is Philip Kong, and this is my senior year at Pomona College. If you remember, we like did the restriction free, like the mega primer approach, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it was certainly a hard one to do, anyways. But this is a s crucial step in my project, which is fusing two genes together, um, which helps us to study one of them. I'm studying an enzyme from um, archaea bacteria. Uh, I started this project last fall, so in my junior fall. So this, I guess, is my third semester working on it, and I'm working on it for my senior thesis right now. I thought I would give this a try. I just kind of take this on, kind of really, I guess, taking it from just like an initial idea all the way through planning the experiments, um, planning what the steps will be, how to proceed when something fails, and kind of really just take responsibility of this project and um, work through many of the kinks oh, okay. and nice. try to tackle really the whole problem. So, all right, we got the DNA out. Let's go. Let's see how this looks. Whoa, why is this so high? <laughs> One of the values was kind of deviated from we were, what we were expecting to see. Science usually doesn't work the way you want it to, so yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of uncertainty, but that's kind of the exciting part, <laughs> yeah. So I was born in Shenzhen, China, um, which is a relatively metropolitan city, and I have a twin sister. Uh, which is, I guess, very unusual during that time because China was under the one child policy at the time. We moved to Canada in February 2011 um, when we were eight years old. But I knew uh, I was very interested in biology actually since I, since I was very young. So I want to be a physician scientist, so someone who is both able to um, be a practicing physician and providing clinical care to patients, but also uh, spending time doing uh, biomedical research. I'm applying to medical school at the moment. Uh, I'm applying to MD, PhD programs. I think definitely a little bit of anxious time right now, uh, not knowing what my future is going to be. What were you thinking when you got accepted? Um, I was very excited when I got accepted. I remember thinking, like, because I got accepted to other schools and I was really looking forward to Pomona specifically. Uh, honestly, I couldn't, 
I couldn't believe it, I guess. So in, in senior year, I guess, when you were applying, you kind of get in this like very insular headspace where everything you seem to do, be thinking about is about college. And I really had really wanted to come to Pomona at the time. It was actually swimming that drew me to Pomona. So I did apply ED1. Um, and yeah, I feel lucky that Pomona was the only application I had to write. I was in my room. My mom was like on my bed because we were just like all anxiously just like awaiting to hear something. And I get a phone call. And I remember just being like, oh my God. I pick up. I remember opening my letter after swim practice um, on like a rainy December evening. And yeah, just being absolutely thrilled. And I was so excited. It was like an 8 p.m. on like a Friday in Toronto. And I was just like screaming up and down with my mom. So yeah, I was pretty sad on Pomona. Everyone happened to be in my room at the same time, like my dad, my mom, my my brother and I, and we were just like, ah, I started sobbing. Everyone was just sobbing. And it was just like such a wonderful moment because, okay, yes, not only did I get a, like a scholarship to study out of state, but it was also just like the moment of being with my family and the moment of hearing someone in higher education kind of recognize who I am and recognize that my story was important um, was very, very special. That was a great story. <laughs> <laughs> I am a storyteller. Yeah, <laughs>